a lot's changed. Some of it's for the better, obviously. I remember, like, in college, not that long ago, they would say things like, don't go to that frat house, they roofie. That's, an, that's a thing they would say out loud. And I'd be like, oh my God, should we do something? They're like, no, just don't go there. <laughs> that's it? I got roofied at a party in college by accident, but, you know, it still counts. It's, uh... <laughs> Obviously, it was an accident. No one at the party was like, I'm gonna roofie that hairy boy over there. Let me, let me fuck a passed out werewolf tonight. <laughs> that is male privilege right there, isn't it? I just told a room full of people I got roofied. I did not see one concerned face in here. <laughs> Everyone in here is like, I assume things worked out for you. And they did. <laughs> Still weird though. Here's what happened. I was at a party and this guy handed a girl a drink and she said, I'm too drunk. And I said, I'll drink it. And he gave me this hateful look, and I thought, why is this guy so mad at me? And then I chugged it, and I woke up the next morning, and I was like, oh, that guy's a sexual predator. And my friend said, you ruined his night. And I was like, that's not how I want to think about it. You don't, you don't want to think of yourself as a cock block to some monster. I prefer to think of myself as an accidental hero. I have uh, negative one rapes, so, you know. Statistically, you know, I can't, you guys, I can't take all the credit, you know? It's kind of like if I was driving drunk and I just swerved and accidentally hit a mugger. <laughs> and some woman is like, my hero. And I'm like, if you say so, but I, I might have a substance abuse problem, so. It's hard not to drink, man. It's very hard. I work in a place where there's a bar every night. I've been trying to be good. It's very difficult. I read this article that said, uh, try to replace drinking with another activity, like tennis with a friend. I was like, yeah, that's a very helpful example. That's always the crossroads I find myself at at uh, 4.57 a.m. I can't tell you how often I'm coming out of a blackout like, fuck, I should have done doubles instead. That's, I brought my Wilson racket and everything. That's, you tell me to replace an addiction with cardio? That's very helpful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start walking into halfway houses full of crackheads. Like, have you guys done Zumba? It's so much better than crack. They're like, thanks, we didn't know, that was helpful.